Welcome to part one, Aviation Enthusiasts of a Journey Through Time. Today we celebrate a revolutionary aircraft, the Sud Aviation SC-210 Caravelle. This graceful jet with its rear-mounted engines and elegant design wasn't just the world's first short-haul jetliner, it was a trendsetter. But where can you find these beauties today? Let's buckle up and explore some caravels that have been preserved for future generations. The Sud Aviation Caravelle was developed as a short to medium range airliner with five abreast seating. Various models of caravels had different passenger capacities and different ranges. The caravels combined the nose and cockpit section of the de Havilland Comet with the locally designed passenger section. Interestingly, the caravel had triangular windows that, while smaller than other jet aircraft windows, allowed the same view in the downward direction. Over 280 caravels were built, gracing the skies for airlines worldwide. While the commercial reign has ended, a significant number have been saved from the scrapyard. Let's visit some of their remarkable survivors. The first stop on our tour of preserved caravels begins in the Netherlands town of Barlow. In an odd situation, when compared to the other preserved caravels, this aircraft is not located in the museum, but in a private business, which rents the aircraft for office functions and video and cinema filming. This aircraft was delivered to Air France in 1959 and served with that airline until 1975. After retirement, this aircraft was initially stored on display in a hangar in Ville France. However, after 2006, this aircraft's continued existence was in doubt. There were attempts to move this aircraft to Toulouse, France, but this fell through as well. Eventually, in 2011, the aircraft was sold to a company called PS Aero, which, as stated before, uses this aircraft as a rental property. At the Air and Space Museum in Paris is our next preserved caravel. This aircraft was the second prototype of three built initially by Sud Aviation, and the only survivor of those three prototypes. This airplane's first flight was in the middle of 1956 and delivered to Air France sometime in 1957. After finishing flight qualifications and route proving, the aircraft flew with Air France until 1968. Sometime after that, the aircraft was scrapped with the exception of the cockpit section, which was restored and placed on display at the Air and Space Museum in Paris. Our journey continues across the Skagerrit Strait and all the way to Oslo, Norway to find our next caravel in the museum. This aircraft started out life with the Scandinavian Air System, otherwise known as SES, in April of 1959. It continued with SES until August of 1974 when it was retired from passenger service. Later that same year, the aircraft was placed entirely within the Norwegian Air Museum in Gardermoen. There it would stay until 2009 when it was moved to the Norse Teknisk Museum, which is where it is on display today in 2024. This next aircraft is one of two caravels not being used as a museum piece in this video. This aircraft served with SES starting in 1960, and like the previous SES caravel, this aircraft would fly with SES until it was retired in 1974. Eventually, the aircraft was donated to the fire department of the Arlanda Stockholm International Airport as a ground trainer. The cockpit section is currently at the Finnish Aviation Museum in Helsinki, awaiting restoration for future display. Back on the main part of Europe, we travel to the Netherlands, specifically to the National Luftfahrt Thema Park Aviodrome that is found at the Leestald Airport. This airliner was one of the few caravels that had multiple operators over its lifetime. In 1960, this aircraft started its paying career with Swiss Air. It would fly for Swiss Air until 1969. After this, the low-cost subsidiary of KLM, known as Transavia, took possession of this aircraft. This situation would remain stable until 1975, when the aircraft was retired. From 1975 to 2004, the aircraft was left in the elements until October 2004, the cockpit section of the aircraft was removed from the rest of the aircraft, restored, and placed on display at the aforementioned National Luftfahrt Thema Park Aviodrome. Music 
Another example of an SAS operated caravel can be found currently at the Denmark's Tetnisk Museum located just out of Helsingorn, Denmark. This aircraft's only operator was SAS, which owned and operated this aircraft from 1962 till its retirement in 1974. After this, the aircraft was initially on display at the Denmark's Flying Museum located outside of Skjern, Denmark. This would last until 1988 when the entire aircraft was moved to the Denmark Technics Museum where it is on display today in 2024. Back in the nation of France, we find that our second trainer aircraft supplied by the Caravelle fleet. We have found that this aircraft began service with Air France in 1960 and this aircraft would continue flying with Air France for longer than most. With this aircraft being finally retired from Air France in 1979. After this, it was donated to the Merville Center de Instruction at the Merville Colonas Airfield to be used for ground instruction. Another Air France caravel can be found near the town of Albert, France, and it's on display in a private museum collection, translated into English as the Museum of the Epic of Industry and Aeronautics. Like quite a few of our jets today, this aircraft started and finished its paying career with Air France. This all occurred between 1960 and 1981. This makes this aircraft the last caravel to fly a revenue flight for Air France. For a while, it was stored near Nancy, France until it was shipped up to its current owner outside of Albert in 2004. Now on to Brussels, Belgium for our next museum house Sud Aviation Caravel. This aircraft first flew in January of 1961 with delivery to Sabina, the flag carrying airline of Belgium at the time, later that month. This airliner would continue flying for Sabina until 1974 when it was retired. There are some records that this aircraft was briefly leased to Tunis Air, but we cannot find proof one way or another. Since 1977, this aircraft has been the aviation wing of the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History in Belgium. In southern France, outside the city of mont lamar at the European Museum of Aviation, a rare example of a caravel that was used in military service can be found. It didn't start its career in the military, however, as it began revenue flights with Fenair in 1962, before briefly going back to Sud Aviation and then on to the French Air Force in 1964. What missions this aircraft carried out during this time is unknown, but we are assuming it was primarily used for personnel transport across France and to other European locations. It was retired by the French Air Force in 1998, making it the last flying caravel in France, which means it was still flying 17 years after the last caravel revenue passenger flight. This aircraft was put on permanent outdoor display in 1999. This last airliner and part one of our video is our only example of a caravel in Eastern Europe. This aircraft began life when it was sold by Sud Aviation to JAT Yugoslav Airlines in 1963. This aircraft served with JAT, like many others, till its retirement, which took place in 1976. In that same year, it was placed on the outdoor display at the Belgrade Air Museum, which is located directly next door to the Nikola Tesla International Airport in Belgrade, Serbia. This is where it remains to this day, along with several examples of Warsaw Pact and NATO aircraft. The Sud Aviation SE-210 Caravelle may no longer dominate the skies, but its legacy lives on. These preserved aircraft stand as silent testaments to an era of innovation and grace, so the next time you visit museum, or an airport, keep an eye out for a caravel. These elegant birds might just take you on a nostalgic trip through aviation history. Keep a watch for our next chapter of this series, coming out in two weeks. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you're a fan of classic jets, leave a comment below and tell us about your favorite aircraft. Don't forget to watch more of our videos for more aviation adventures. Check out our links at the end for more caravel-related videos. And if you wish, you can support us on Patreon or become a member of my YouTube channel by joining the channel's Coach Class membership level. Being either a Patreon or YouTube channel member will allow you the benefits of early viewing of new videos 
and you will get to help choose the next video. Patreon and YouTube channel membership allows greater support for this channel that will allow me to make improvements to this channel, like being able to visit distant aviation museums and incorporating better technology into our videos.